Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to make number tables in math. Now, the most common operations for number tables are often addition and multiplication. Now, it's a fairly simple structure, and it's a good way for you to brush up on addition and multiplication tables. So, when it comes to an addition table, oftentimes you include the operation that you want to you make the table for, so in this case it would be an addition table, and then what you want to do afterwards is you want to create a series of columns and rows that correspond to each other. Now for space considerations, we'll just use the first few figures, and we'll just do, for example, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Of course, you're going to extend the number of rows if you like, and then 0, 1, 2, 3, and you can go further again if you like. But what you do is you simply match up the numbers from row to column and go from there. For example, since it's addition table, you do 0 plus 0, which is 0, 0 plus 1 is 1, so on and so forth, and if you want to do 3 plus 0 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, etc., and then go from there. Now, it works the same way if you have a multiplication table. The only difference here would be instead of plus, you would just put the multiplication symbol, sometimes either the x symbol or the dot symbol, and then you go from there. And you, again, you correspond with each entry in the row to each entry in each column. So 0 times 0 is 0, 0 times 1 is 0, 0 times 2 is 0, so on and so forth, and then using the 3, 3 times 0 is 0, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 times 2 is going to give you 6, and you keep on working at it until you get all the rows and columns uh, filled up. But this is the basic structure, and uh, you can definitely go from there and use it as a template. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's how you make number tables in math.